Hey ladies and gentlemen, Cat and Taylor here at SaltyScales.com. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be making a lure out of this, a bottle cap. Now you may be wondering, why would you need to know how to make a lure with a bottle cap? Well honestly, there's no rhyme or reason, but it's cool. It's cool to have a kick-ass lure that you made by hand. And not only that, there's about two million pounds of garbage uh, don't quote me on that, that roll up on our shores every year. So if you get into a situation, a survival situation, there will be no shortage of these. And I'm sure you can manipulate certain things on the shoreline to create one, and it might just save your butt. So come along, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so the only few essential items that you'll need um, is a 1 16th inch uh, drill bit to drill your hole. A couple bottle caps, a number four, a number six uh, treble hook, and some split rings. Here I got a varied pack. You can get these at Bass Pro, they're really cheap. I think like eight dollars or something, you can get all these rings. And they're also good, you know, for replacing your hooks and things like that on your rattle traps, crankbaits, and so forth. So, and then of course, some split ring pliers. You can see how the nose is a little different. They help you open up the, the ring so you're not struggling with those because they can get kind of complicated to mess with if you don't have them. All right, so first things first. With my drill and my 1 16th inch drill bit, I'm going to drill a hole in the side of the cap. And you don't want to make it to where it's too close to the edge. Just like so. Because if you make it too close to the edge, then what you're gonna do is the integrity of the, the cat may fail when you hook a fish, and over time it'll fail anyhow. But let's go ahead and continue to the next side. Okay, so continuing on, directly from the opposite hole that you just drilled, you wanna make another hole. All right, so I got my two holes. Next, what you wanna do is get your split rings. All right, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna put a little larger split ring on so that way you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I have my two split rings, my number four hook, and my bottle cap with my holes in them. So all you wanna do is take your split ring pliers, open them up, like so start to add that onto the bottle cap here once you get it started it's pretty easy from that point on all right so there we have it split ring is on that side now we want to go ahead and add the other Just like so. All right, so we have our split rings and our bottle cap. Next, we wanna go ahead and add our treble hook. Again, this is a number four treble. Use the number six. Number four, number six seem to work just fine. All right. Go ahead and get this put on here. Now we have our bottle cap, our treble, and our split rings. All right, so now guys, you have the option. You can add BBs inside of here, which is a good option, because what it does, it gives the rattling and vibration. And, um, or if you don't have BBs, you can add split shots and they'll do the job just fine. All right, so after you've added your split shots and your BB or your BBs, you just wanna close this up here. And you can either use pliers or you could just simply press this in and squeeze and it'll slowly start to close, like so. 
All right, you see how it's starting to bend? All right, so you want to close it up to where obviously your BBs or your split shots don't fall out of there, and they'll make a very nice rattle within inside of it as well. And there you go, guys. That is all there is to this particular lure. You go out, cast it, catch some fish. It does work. Trust me on that. And what I'll do is I'll do a part two video showing you that it works. And we'll see if we can't catch a bass on video for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's fishing hack. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, we'll see you on the water.